Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanna talk to you guys today about cycling your fasts. So we've had a lot of discussion here on YouTube, a lot in my Resetters group, about which fasts do you use, how do you use them, why would you use them, how long should you fast? These, are, these seem to be like the continual conversations that we're having, and I think it's, what I love is that each one of you is thinking this through at such a deep level. So today I wanted to do a video specifically on how do you know when to, what fast you should use, how long you should use it, and how to cycle it, okay? And let me start off by saying that those of you that requested our fasting benefits chart, I hope it's helpful. If you're not sure what I'm saying, go back and watch the video I did on how long you should fast, because I, I mapped it out in a chart format so that you guys could really dial this in. But I wanted to talk specifically about three things when you're looking at cycling fasting, okay? The, and they're really three questions. So the first question to ask yourself always with keto, fasting, detoxing, everything that you're doing, I just want you to think through what am I trying to accomplish? Now with fasting, there really are only three things to accomplish with fasting. There's only three mechanisms in the body that we're trying to um, stimulate, tap into, and change. The first is you're trying to bring down your glucose and insulin levels. So this is Dr. Fung's work. He really brought this to our attention, which is great. The second is autophagy. So you're trying to get some self-detox uh, system going. You're trying to get your body to uh, have longer cell life. You're trying to repair those cells. Autophagy was made famous by Dr. Osumi. Um, I am, I'm, I'm excited to interview Naomi Whittle and really dive into the principles of autophagy. So stay tuned to my channel for that interview because she's really one of the pioneers in autophagy right now. And then the third thing is stem cells. So this is Walter Longo's work. Um, he really, and some new research out of MIT, we're really looking at fasting as being helpful for stem cell production. So when you decide you wanna fast, start off by just asking yourself these three things. Am I trying to lower glucose and insulin? Am I trying to stimulate autophagy? Am I trying to stimulate stem cells? So, and I've done a lot of videos on, on that. I, and so I know for some of you, this is not new. The second thing, once you've, uh, you've identified what it is that you're trying to, what mechanism of healing you're trying to kick in, the second thing would be to ask yourself, what condition am I trying to heal? And what I see across all my social media platforms is that they're really about one, two, three, four different conditions that I see people or categories of healing that I see people trying to accomplish. The first category would be you're trying to reverse a severe condition. So you're trying, you've got cancer, you've got an autoimmune condition, like you've got a condition that maybe you recently got a diagnosis for, or maybe you've been on meds for forever and you're not getting a good response. Maybe you're trying to prevent a surgery, but there's some condition that you're trying to change, okay? And I'll go through all four and then I'll kind of tell you which fast I would use for, for all four. The second one is the, uh, the condition that I see a lot of people trying to change is metabolic syndrome. So this is those of you that are either pre-diabetic, you're diabetic, you're insulin resistant, you're gaining weight for no reason, like you're really looking to try to come to fasting to make yourself more insulin sensitive and to reverse a metabolic condition. Okay, the third thing I see a lot of people doing is, and, and this is one of the things I know I love about fasting, is that you're in prevention mode. You, you know, there's some great research that fasting, especially the longer fast, can really stimulate the immune system and take old worn out blood cells and, and regenerate them. So the, if you're wanting to prevent cancer, um, if you're wanting to slow down the aging process, there's a lot of you coming to fasting for that. And I'll talk about which fast you would do for that one. And then the last one, and the one that I probably interact with people every day on is people overdid it. They they went on vacation, they got off their eating style, and they just need a reset. And they're looking to try to get in and just go in and reach and change their the, the way that their body is performing. They overdid it. 
okay? So now if there are other conditions I know, but these are the four categories that I typically see with people, especially here on YouTube. We're seeing it in my resetter group. I see it with my patients that I work with one-on-one, -on -one, okay? So let me go through those four things before I move on to the next question to ask yourself. So if you are trying to reverse a severe condition, um, this is where those longer fasts come in handy. So the longer fasts, like the three-day water fast, three to five-day water fast, those are fabulous for um, people that, are, that have been given a cancer diagnosis. That's what the research is showing us. They're amazing for autoimmune conditions. I have seen so many really powerful healing mechanisms happen for people with Hashimoto's, people with RA, um, things that any kind of autoimmune condition that you have, the longer fast. So you want to be doing a three to five day water fast. Depending upon the severity of your condition, you want to be doing those anywhere from once a month to once a quarter. And that's how you kick in maximum healing. Okay, those of you with metabolic syndrome, you are really looking to, un to unstick yourself from insulin resistance. So for you, those long fasts are great. And, and I would say even but, more importantly, is what you're doing on a weekly basis. So for the person with metabolic syndrome, I like you working up to 36 hour fasts where we're going more than just 24. 24 hours is great for digestive repair. Um, it's great for, you know, a lot of you are doing one meal a day, but you get stuck. And so you need to go into a 36 hour fast. I would recommend you go do a 36 hour fast at least once a week if you've got metabolic syndrome. If you're trying to lose weight, a 36 hour fast once a week is a really good starting spot for you. Um, if you have type 1 or type 2 diabetes, please make sure that you're being coached through a longer fast like that. Um, but for overall insulin resistance, metabolic resistance, this is the, you, got, you gotta lean into those 36 hour fasts, okay? Those of you that wanna prevent and slow the aging down. Okay, this is where I really like, um, where once a week you're doing a 24 hour fast, maybe longer. So you're doing some, you're getting used, your body used to just going without food. That's super healthy for those mitochondria. For you, I also like if um, two to three times a year, if you're doing a three to five day water fast, because that's gonna reboot the immune system. So weekly, you can do a 24 hour fast. Daily for prevention and slowing the aging process down. I like intermittent fasting. Um, and then I like two to three times a year, you're doing these longer fasts. That's really good for that category. And then if you want to do a reset, like you really need to just go dive all in, um, you know, any of the fasts are going to work. It's sometimes just intermittent fasting will really work great. Um, I ha I, we are doing another woman's reset where I take you through a 15 day experience um, where with all the different fasts, it's meant to unstick your, yourself. So if you want information on the women's reset, it's going to start at the end of September. I'd love to have you join me. Just put women's reset and we'll make sure you get that information. But fasting is the ultimate reset. I mean, it's amazing when, I, when you come back from a vacation, when you start to go watch the video I did on the seven different types of fasts and just start applying those different fasts and see, you'll see how it can really unstick you. So, okay. So those are the four, four ish conditions that I, um, that I would make some big, broad recommendations for you on it. Okay. The last question that I would ask is how committed are you? So there's a couple of different ways that you can approach fasting. Some of you just wanna experiment with it. You just kinda of wanna dip your toe in. You know, just have fun with it, play with it. Um, those of you, uh, you know, if you're, if you're just experimenting with fasting, I think intermittent fasting is a, an awesome like bottom line fat, like a beginner fast. Play with intermittent fasting, go 13 to 15 hours, and then every once in a while try to go a little bit longer. If you're like, okay, no, I'm, I'm serious, I'm a little more than just a beginner fast, then you're gonna want to try some of the like fast mimicking, the autophagy fasting, go watch the videos I did on that. We'll, we'll put a link in here. You, gotta, you wanna really explore into these seven different fasts and you wanna cycle through them. This is actually, to me, this middle group is why I created my resetter group in Facebook. Once a month for five days, what we do is we practice fasting together. So, and I lead 
lead groups of people through that and that there's no charge for that. That is a free experience. So just put resetter in here and we'll make sure you get that information. So if you want to dive deeper, there's a great place. Now, the last one is like, and again, I see this a lot in um, my consultations with people one-on-one -on -one is where you're like, I'm serious. And if you're serious, this is where you really want to start to get, to learn to be an expert in the three to five day water fast. Nothing will heal your body like a three to five day water fast. And the more you do it, the more healing that happens. So it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish. It depends on what your condition is and it depends on how committed you are. But the, the, I think the biggest mistake I'm seeing here on YouTube is that we become so rigid with the way we fast. We become so rigid with the way we do keto. And what I want to share with you and sort of open your mind to is this fact that there's so many, you're like at a buffet here, like a buffet of fasting where you can decide how to use these pieces. Um, I had a, a patient tell me this morning that she did, was going through my 15-day reset and about day 12, I think it was, she had a social engagement. So she had a couple of days where friends were, in, were there from in from out of town. So she just went and lived her life and then she hopped right back into fasting as soon as, the peop as her friends left. That's how you maximize the benefits of fasting and you basically get to live the life that you want to live. But I want to, the, so much on this channel, I want to teach you how to think because you were born in a miracle and there's no quick fixes, yet this thing was programmed to heal and fasting is one of the best ways I know to accelerate that. So um, as always, I hope that helps. If you want in uh, the Women's Reset, just put Women's Reset. We'd love to have you join us on that experience. Uh, if you want the fasting benefits chart, put fasting benefits chart in there. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and please don't ever, ever give up on yourself because you were born to heal. And I'm super excited you're here. Uh, joining me on this journey and as always I hope that helps hey dr. Mindy here and if you enjoyed this video please share it out to the world I'm trying to get really cutting-edge health information into people's hands and if you want to see more videos like this just subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates as to when I go live and new videos that I put out there Every Thursday, by the way, I do a live video from here and answer your questions. So if there are questions you want me to answer, join me then and I'll make sure that I address them. Thanks. Have an awesome day.